Yeah, yeah there's hella fucking cars over there, dude. Hey folks, welcome to another video from PlainTruth.info. Here's more proof positive blue laser lights, which people are reporting. We've got over, th we've got now at least three uh, separate cell phone smart cameras uh, identifying blue lasers on video. One from a helicopter and two from uh, uh, handheld cameras, as you can see right here. This is proof positive. We're going to take this to the fire departments. We're meeting with fire people now. They know something was wrong and they've seen the videos and all the directed energy comments and they want to learn more. So we're taking this to them. You can take this video as well. We also have the Santa Rosa Planning Department papers back from 2016. The exact roadmap where the fires hit in the Santa Rosa area matched the planning rezoning for Agenda 21. Stack them and pack them, green design, walking, no fireplaces kind of uh, communities with density. Uh, increases over a hundred percent planned on October 7th two days before the fires we have uh, city council members and now the Sonoma Media Design Group or uh, Sonoma Media uh, Group and the Sonoma Design Group the Sonoma Design Group is the uh, laser weapon companies organizations and the Sonoma Media uh, investments we'll get into that own the newspapers around here with uh, democratic lobbyist connections and uh, all sorts of nefarious types involved. So we'll get into that in the next video, but I want to get this laser out, folks. This is the, what's the smoking gun, the smoking laser. Here it is right here. So proof uh, positive. Let's spread the word, get it around, and um, let's stop this madness by education. First, it always starts with education, so please share. Thank you. Wrong. Top story, Santa Barbara. 10,000 acres of wooded residential land were scorched in an instant when a laser cannon aboard the Strategic Defense Peace Platform misfired today during routine startup tests. Casey? Yes, it was a day of mourning for the families of 113 people known dead at this hour. Among them, two former United States presidents who had retired in the Santa Barbara area. A day of mourning for a country. So I've been collecting comments from people, from readers, putting in what they saw in the area and documenting it. And we'll be presenting this to the uh, fire departments and appropriate agencies. But let me just show you this list. And I just highlighted the word blue. And you can see all the blue flashes, blue laser light, really bright, bright blue, as you'll see in a minute from this Take a Walk. He actually filmed the flashes, and we have other people doing the same. But here, blue flashes, blue lasers, uh, nothing I've ever seen before. Um, and it goes down. And in Potter Valley, I saw blue streaks like flares. Uh, I live in Santa Rosa, west of 3rd, and I saw blue light. Uh, I live in Santa Rosa, Indian Valley, I saw blue lightning. Um, and it continues on. I have pages and pages of this, folks. And Sue Nami says, uh, sacrifice all right. My cousin in Miami saw the blue lights coming down from the sky as well, right in the thick of it. I was speaking with her when she saw them. Um, Firefighters say that when you explained about the aluminum from chemtrail. So this was posted the day after the fire, supercharged by powerful winds, whipped through Napa, Sonoma, and Mendocino, killing at least 10 people. Uh, starting in the middle of the night, hopscotched across neighborhoods, raced across fields, jumped freeways, gusts up to 70 miles an hour, walls of flames nearly 100 feet high, throwing embers ahead like hot fingers into strip malls and subdivisions. Surge, some many people who fled the surge had enough time to grab car keys, perhaps a pet, and not much more. All right, here's a chart from the San Francisco Chronicle of the wind. And you can see that there was no wind. I was here this day in the Santa Rosa area. We got evacuated twice. And all of a sudden, about 10 o'clock, the wind started swirling. But before that, in my comments, was there was no wind. The storm came out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden it gusts up to 80 miles an hour, and then within two, three hours, it was completely back to normal again. Nothing normal. Let's take a look again at the Madeira fire uh, last year caught in Portugal, and look at the vortex, folks. Look at the spinning winds that create the vortex energy to create the kinetic energy for the plasma weapon beam to focus its energy, directed energy, electromagnetic pulsing energy. But look at the vortex. Look at the swirling winds, which everybody here felt and everybody here commented about. And at night, they turn into blue flashes. That's what we all saw. This was genocide. This was murder. This was an attack on U.S. soil. 
We need to wake up, folks. We need to wake up right now. I mean, it's storm too. And here we see the comments from uh, Take a Walk talking about the the blue flashes uh, that they recorded on their camera here, which will be coming up here in a second. But again, this was coming from above. These were directed energy weapons. They were torching and uh, uh, murdering people in their homes, fried in their homes. The body count, <clears throat> we will not know the true body count ever. They will never give it to us. But there's many, many people that perished in their homes. Uh, just like in the Hurricane Harvey, the floods came in the middle of the night. Both started about 1, 2 a.m. They didn't have a chance. So here, take a walk as the moon, and you'll see the blue, the flash. There it is. See the flash? There it was. This is another cell phone recorded as well. There's another beam right there from a cell phone recorded. Prima facie evidence, folks. Here it is. Trees. That is the craziest Ever seen trees burn like this? Seen. No one has. It's hollowed out the tree. On the inside, not on the outside. The fire and how do trees Belleville? burn from the inside and, and not on the outside? Straight up the middle of a tree. It had to be directed energy weapons, folks. They torched the place with thousands and thousands of degrees, targeted certain areas, certain people, certain homes, certain businesses. Agenda 21. Weather war terrorism. That is nuts. Towses.